Here to discuss that and more is Tennessee Congressman and member of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee, Congressman Tim Burchett. Um, Congressman, great to see you. It was great to see you earlier this week on the Hill, and that was a little clip from my interview uh, with your colleague and fellow committee member on oversight, Congresswoman Nancy Mace, who has nothing but lovely things to say about you. Um, how are you reading the, these developments? I know a few of, of the members on the oversight have already had a chance to view the FBI document. Now, this is the document um, that alleges a bribery scheme involving then-Vice President Joe Biden, who was allegedly paid $5 million by a Burisma executive when his son Hunter Biden was a board member on the Ukrainian gas company. Um, first of all, I want to ask you how you read those developments. Congresswoman May said that she believes that those are credible, but obviously the next step for the oversight is going to be subpoenaing more bank records to follow the money trail there to corroborate the account from, again, this, this trusted um, confidential human source within the FBI. Well, my colleague Nancy Mace is is very accurate in her praise of me and her assumption <laughs> of of what's going on uh, with, with with the president who is in the vice president. The the payoff from Barisma that's very obvious. You know, we have ten million dollars that floated into Biden crime family accounts. I mean, minor kids through communist China and these other former Soviet bloc countries, uh, it's very obvious what's going on. This family has been for sale for a long time, and it's just continued. And I guess the uh, uh, the two things that really bother me, first of all, I'm not surprised that the national media will not cover this because they have so much invested in this this president who whose um, cognitive level is, is about that of a sponge cake. And then also... Um, just the fact that the obvious um, double standard by our Justice Department, you know, I, at some point we got to really be serious about this and say, hey, Justice Department, you all not going to do your job. We're going to start cutting your funds. And that's where we the where Congress is supposed to be the, um, the, the the purse of government. And we need to start acting like it. We need to start cutting off their money. Some of these alphabet agencies that refuse to do their jobs. This is complete corruption at the highest level. You know, the Chinese flying an 1800 balloon literally over our country, right? Uh, recording secrets, and we don't do anything. And going then all back, this is Congressman, going, on in to, going back to the to, to the document for just a moment, I'm not sure if you've had a chance to review it just yet, but I wanted to ask you um, what, if anything, you know about the involvement of Victor Shokin, the former prosecutor general of Ukraine, who was mentioned in that document. Yeah, I believe it was he the one that the uh, vice president said to fire, and then um, and then they obviously did. And you know, it's it's with the, the irony of all that is this is what they is this is what they went after Trump for. I mean, it's the it's the classic case of accuse your enemy of what you're doing, and they they clearly were doing this, and um, and we're being paid to do it, and yet no one seems to want to cover it. I mean, the Justice Department's been sitting on some of this stuff. I believe for over five years now before they even will take a look at it and they they hide it under the auspices of, of an investigation so they can't comment on it. And then you have to subpoena the head of the, the dadgum FBI to get him in there. And he's clearly not playing ball with us, but we know more than we're saying. And there's more of these documents that are out there, I've been told, from some pretty reliable sources. And I believe that's that's where more of it's going to come. It, it's, it's not going to come as a trickle, you know, a, death by a thousand cuts it's going to be it's going to be just a few machete wallops because this is what's getting ready to come out and and this is just it's just more and of the that same is the it, sweetener of the deal right the fbi agreeing to hand over additional fd 1023 documents as an agreement for the house oversight committee to drop those contempt proceedings what can we expect to be contained within those documents and how does that help with your investigation I think it's just going to be more of the same. It's going to show more corruption and it's going to show more of these corrupt countries and um, organizations cash flow and tie to the Biden crime family. As I've said many times during um, during crime school, mob school, the Biden family fell asleep during money laundering class because it's very clear what's going on with this money and where it's going and who's being paid. I mean, you have minor family members, kids that are minors that have LLCs set up that are getting paid for something. 
And, you know, they try to blame it. They try to say, well, the Trumps did that. Well, the Trumps had sweatshops in China that were selling their, 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 their cheap ties and things like that. I mean, it was clear what they were doing. But this is ridiculous. This is, this is straight out corruption, bribery. They're getting paid to play. There is no product they're selling other than their souls. And they were pretty uh, quick to sell them. And I suspect you're going to see it, it, the, the shoes are going to fall. It's going to be like an octopus, though. There's going to be more than one shoe that's getting ready to fall. All right. Congressman Tim Burchett, we count on you to keep us updated on those developments on the Oversight Committee. We appreciate you spending a part of your Saturday with us. Thanks, sir.